Hello guys, in this video we're gonna take a look at how to communicate between classes in C++ in Unreal Engine 4. Now this is a continuation of uh, the previous UE4 C++ tutorial called how to program collision triggers. So make sure you have followed that tutorial before you start this one because we're gonna use this box actor here, which is a C++ class, to communicate with our third person character which is also a C++ class. Alright, so go ahead and uh, open up uh, Unreal Engine 4 editor and also Visual Studio. Alright, so the idea here what we're going to do is we're going to commu communicate between two C++ C++ classes when our character walks into the collision trigger right here, so the box actor we're gonna call a function on our third person characters char character which simply just prints out some data uh, onto the screen all right to do this we're gonna use something called casting casting in c++ basically means forcing one data type to convert into another data type and that's basically what we're gonna do we're gonna cast our third person character and access it access it from inside the box actor class, all right? So now you could use this for a couple of different scenarios, but for example, if this would be a bomb in your game or something, this box actor, um, you could uh, call a function on the third person character to decrease uh, the life of the character, for example. All right, so enough talking, let's get started. So go ahead and open up Visual Studio and open up boxactor.h and boxactor.cpp you can find them in the source of your project All right so the first thing we're going to do inside box actor since we're going to need to access the third person character we're going to go ahead and include the third person character.h then let's go down here to public now we're going to say a third person character which is the actual class of the third person character which is going to be a pointer to third person character all right so this is going to be the variable we're going to use to access the third person character okay so now once that's done go ahead and open up uh, box actor at cpp and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna actually cast the, the third person character when uh, in the begin play function for the box actor. All right. But first, let's go ahead and include a library that we're gonna use. It's called gameplay statics. We're gonna use it to access the actual character. So include runtime slash engine slash classes slash is met slash gameplay statics let's see if we can find that yeah all right then go down to the begin play function and now we're gonna say third person character which is the variable we have created or pointer and we're gonna use a ue4 function called cast and we're gonna cast the a third person character and we're gonna access it by using you gameplay statics and a function called get player character inside here we're gonna type get world and then the index of the character now since we only got one character the index of our character is gonna be zero right so zero. And let's just see here what happens if you compile this, if we get an errors.
Yes, everything seems to be working all right. And if we press, press uh, play, nothing crashes, which means that the box actor right here, which is placed here, is, is actually casting the third person character when we begin the game, all right? So now what we want to do is uh, we want to go down here to the on overlap begin function for the box actor and we can remove this line and this line which we wrote in the previous tutorial and what we're gonna do now on overlap begin is we're gonna call a function on our third person character so we had to open up the third person character and we're gonna define the function for this to begin with and it's gonna be a public function we can add it at the bottom of the third person character dot h file we can call this anything let's just make it a void and uh, uh, add the dogma message and let's create the definition for it save the header file open up third person character and let's see here we go so we're just gonna add For this example, let's add uh, uh, an on-screen debug message. Let's see why is this not showing up. Didn't we include the engine here? Oh no, we have to include the engine slash, slash engine dot header as well, because we're going to be using the Uh, G and then G engine add on screen debug message. So what we're gonna do here is a simple function that adds a debug debug message on screen when we walk into this box actor, all right? So add on screen debug message minus one. Let's set it to five seconds. Uh, we can give it a color of green, and let's just say add debug message function on third person character called all right now let's open up box actor cpp and let's say if third person player oh, sorry third person character So just to make sure that it has been actually casted and exists uh, and if third person character is equal to other actor so the actor that walks into this uh, collision trigger right third person character and then we're gonna call the function we has created and add debug message right so for on overlap and we can just leave it empty because we just have to communicate when we walk into the box trigger so on overlap again all right so let's go ahead and compile this and see if we get any error errors And yeah, everything seems to be working. So let's go ahead and try this out now. If we open the output log, click play, and then we're gonna type show collision, just to show the collision triggers we got here. And let's walk into the box here. And as you can see to the left of the screen, add the bug message function on third person character called. So that means when we're walking into the trigger, it actually successfully uh, calls a function on our third person character all right so it's a pretty basic idea it's not very easy to do if you don't know how to do it uh, and it's not super easy to follow the documentation on this either for c plus plus so there you go there you got the communication with casting between your box uh, actor and third person character 
Now this is something that comes in handy and you use it a lot for web development in C++ because a lot of times you need your different components and actors and characters to communicate with each other. Um, also for multiplayer games, this is very good. So yeah, I hope you learned something and bye bye.